والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم she says if a wife gives her husband all his rights but the husband is not satisfied and is always finding faults what should a wife do i mean she says the husband is practicing uh, but he deals with the wife as if she's owned by him if she's a piece of uh, property sheikh bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyihi wa mustafah we praise you to allah we praise him and we seek his help whomsoever allah guides is a truly guided one and whomsoever allah leaves astray no one can show him guidance may the best peace and blessings be upon prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah the Almighty said in the Quran, وَلَهُنَّ مِثْلُ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ And this is a great ayah that's used as a reference in that regard, which means they do have rights, the wives, women, do, they do have rights similar to that which they are due upon them. So there are rights and there are duties. And each one of them must take care of his duties in order to gain uh, his or her rights as well. Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Wallahi inni la atazayyanu li zawjati kama uhibbu an tatazayyana li. He said, I swear that I adorn myself mm-hmm. for my wife exactly as I like her to adorn herself for me. It's not only that the wife who should adorn herself and smell nice and look nice, also the man should dress nice and smell nice before her at home. And this is... Uh, an indication that this is one of the things Mm -hmm. which many people neglect. They think it's only the woman who should adorn herself for the husband. It's both. When the Prophet said, every one of you is a guardian, he did not exempt anyone. Rather, he specified, he said, A man, the family father is a guardian, Mm -hmm. and he will be asked about all of those who are under his guardianship, including his wife. And also Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, And the wife too is a guardian at uh, her house. Guardian on those who are under her guardianship, the children, the maid, the responsibilities, her husband's wealth. So both of them do have rights and they owe uh, duties to offer uh, towards the other party. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in one hadith, خَيْرُكُمْ أَحْسَنُكُمْ خُلُقًا وَخَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ وَأَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best of you before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is best in manners. And the best of all of you is the one who is best towards his spouse, mm-hmm. his wife, and the wife towards her husband, the children, and so forth. And then the Prophet ﷺ concluded the, pharynx, the, the the next, he said, and I'm the best of all of you, because I'm the best to his uh, family, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha ardaha was asked about the manners of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his behavior at home, she said, kana khuluquhu al-Qur'an. He was the best to his wives, because his manners were driven and were taken from the Qur'an. Similarly, should be the behavior of every Muslim, male or a female. Uh, If the husband is going to pick on every little thing that the wife might do, then I would like to remind you with the following. First, a hadith that the Prophet ﷺ said, لا يفرك مؤمن مؤمنة إن كره منها خلقا رضي منها الآخر. Which means that a believer should not dislike uh, his wife, his spouse. If he does not like an attitude or a certain behavior from her, there are other many things that you should focus on the bright side, on the positives, not on the negatives. The second, remember that you too are not perfect. Uh, So do not ask anybody to be perfect towards Mm. you while you yourself... Uh, is not perfect nor infallible. Because Al-Ma'soom was the Prophet ﷺ and he passed away. So we should keep in mind in order to have peace and tranquility uh, in our marriage and maintain our marriage life that we have 
to skip things and drop things and act and pretend that you did not notice. Do not hold a court at home for every little thing that happens. And remember that you too are full of shortcomings by nature. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before his death advised the entire ummah at large were certain with certain specific practices. Amongst them, due to their importance, he said, Estausu bin nisa'i khayra. Estausu bin nisa'i khayra. Fa'inna hunna awanun indakum. Be kind to your women, to your wives. They are your assistants in this life. They are not your slaves. They are not your maids. And they are similar to being captive in your house because you are the husband. You have the guardianship over them. What we call it, al-qiwama. So we should not abuse that. As I said, and as I always say, this is a general advice. Because I uh, I expect the husband one day to pick up the phone and say, this is not the case. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm the one who's too nice to her, and she's too rude to me. So this is a general advice. To advise myself at first, then my wife who could be watching, who could be watching right now, Jamil and his spouse, and the entire ummah, the advices of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the commands of Allah subhanahu wa taala in the Quran, the reciter, the reader, the audience should first apply them to themselves.